monument, though awfully close to one, towards Dorf Vlanderen is where we're at right now, and we are beginning the first cobbled sector, four stars uphill. Now, problem for this race is there's a lot of that uphill variety of cobbled sectors. So I do have the advantage, at least, of the hill rating. But the mountain rating uh, is going to be impacted because it's going to count for a lot of the sectors that we have here uh, early on. And we're already seeing big splits in the peloton. Uh, we're now seeing a second breakaway group as a few riders attacked on that very first climb of the day. Uh, I suspect that both of those groups will be pulled back actually in the pretty near future. Really bad race day condition for some of my teammates. I have a zero, which was expected for the day. Tomorrow, I will begin my fitness peak. It's too late to do anything now. But with a small peloton and just five riders left, all from the original breakaway, uh, that's it. We're seeing new attempts at break with 112k to go. It's way too far out for that right now. Fortunate thing for me, un. Fortunate, not fortunate, unfortunate thing for me is my team wants me to win the race. So we're not going to earn any XP today, whether we win or not. And this one's not quite the right profile. It's not flat, flat and cobbled, or a few hills. This is too many cobbled sectors on climbs, and especially with a zero race day condition. I don't like our chances on this one. We'll do better than most. And maybe we even manage a top 10. But I don't feel like we are anywhere near the favorites list. And I didn't see myself on the name of top 10 favorites. So you know, that combination suggests that I probably will not uh, finish with a race win today. Or a Hunskra asking a lot. As a result, you can see George has put the work in Peloton largely back together. But six riders were allowed to attack and get away. So there is a second breakaway now with a fairly hefty advantage. It's out to two and a quarter to the front five, which finally comes together to become 11. And we're going to have our first lengthy cobbled sector here in just a little bit. Lavelle getting water and George and Guerrero were dropped from down to two support riders is all, and neither one of them are looking good. Peloton down to just 47. But there's such a long, long race here that... That front group actually has a chance in this one if the other teams aren't interested. And we're just seeing group after group with these little minor attacks and Peloton not chasing very hard. You know, we're allowing groups behind to recover and get up to us. So no team right now really properly controlling the Peloton. When we are, we're just about holding the gaps ahead. When we back off, the gaps go out really fast and groups behind catch up. So I'm not sure why other teams are not taking up the mantle at all in, in terms of the chase. And it's still 220 to the front. No cobbled sectors for a while, but the end of the race is going to really intensify on that. 53k to go. Uh, Lavelle, while you have the energy, get water final time so we're good to go till the end of this thing whole guard now going backwards he had plenty of energy a moment ago and both are dropped Lavelle back in contact and he's almost there okay I've got my water got my water and I'm just now starting to dip into my maximum I'm going to be on my own here very very soon though and the gap's 246. Four stars. I need to just put my foot down and accelerate here a little bit. So my hill rating is obviously much better than my flat. Broke it down to 14 riders in an in instant. Now just 10. The group's getting actually smaller. So there you go. We accelerate once, and that's all it took. This climb is feared by many riders. The percentages are very high. Positioning, really important on these. Uh, the gap to the front, though, is still sizable. 19 riders now. A lot of guys trying to attack, but not actually going anywhere. They're spinning, but they're not 
actually doing anything as we hit the Koppenberg here in just a moment. Sneak. Now's the time to get forward on that one. There's too many riders present. Still using that sneak, and now it's down to just 16. If I hadn't used that sneak, I think we uh, might have missed. And catch some of the breakaway riders. What's left, I'm not quite sure. But we are running low on sectors. And running a little low on energy as the, you know, the push just continues and continues and continues. 14, we drop 11 riders there. With just a, a little foot down, we've got one left. Three riders left off the front and just 45 seconds. 45 second advantage for those three. It's ASCII, it's Watson, it's Betty All. ASCII is a sprint capable, cobble capable, similar to us. Betty All attacks the group. He's a better all around. Watson, similar and good sprinter. We've seen Watson win quite a few times. But those three in the break have been off the front a long time. What do they have left? Just one of them riding away. But our group is not chasing. The gap is going out. The 15 of us are lacking firepower right now. And there's a front three. Now a front one. And just push on 7k to go. The last hill, though. Red bar is gone. Asgreen and Turgis also with me. Can't quite keep up with them, or can I? Yes, I do. Definitely open the gap behind us. Betty All, I'm not sure we're going to catch him. 4.5k. This last little flat. The descent is helpful. We're up to 4 now. Rutch is here. Recovering just slightly, but it's 40 seconds behind, so at least we have that. Oh, come on. Don't get dropped. Thank you. 2k to go. 4.5. And sprint for the line. Betty All's going to take the win. I'm out of energy. It's going to be a top 5. And I think that's a great result. The team's going to be pissed. Half a bike link, well, not half a bike link, but clearly was ahead of Turgis there. I don't know why I get fifth, but hey, throw on the line it is never accurately shown in this game. Betty All, Asgreen, Rutsch, Turgis, myself, fifth place. What I should be proud of with a zero race day condition and a 66 mountain rating. That's about the best we can hope for, especially as the final sectors aren't the hardest ones so there's no chance for me to really ditch most of the field transfer market is at least you know contact period beginning dossier period for the year and it looks like where we would be headed for next year is quick step but of course this is going to be the final season but that's who we would ultimately be signing the contract with is quick step Career mode has been so evenly balanced, no complaints whatsoever, but pro cyclist mode has been utterly brutal throughout this playthrough. My race day condition draw has been positive like five times this whole series, uh, and we've had big negative draws, like minus five draws more than we've had total positive draws uh, we've had minus threes and fours three times as many as we've had positive draws at all it's been harsh been so harsh and i've tried and tried and tried to say hey i've, I've tested it balances in the end it balances in the end this one it just hasn't balanced i expected today was a plus five I had a plus five expected today. We got a plus one. And that's the run day on Flandering. It was a monument that I was looking at going, <laughs> plus five, plus five. We can win this thing. Yeah, well, here's my worst nightmare. 
Uh, team expects a top 10. We might be able to pull that off, but uh, the, the climbing here is so intense, so severe, that I needed a 70 plus mountain rating. I, I needed a plus seven to it. I needed uh, a plus, you know, five or six to the hills and, and cobble, you know, at 85. And then we would have had every chance uh, to get the result we needed today, which still may have been nowhere near winning this thing. It is such a brutal, brutal race that well, Van Art and Matthew Vanderpool are huge favorites for this one. But I definitely would have had that top 10. Now, now I'm just looking at plus one. Lavelle was also, he, he and I both were supposed to have plus fives. He got his. Team as a whole had a very, very high level of preparation for this race. And we've got a pretty nasty draw. My minus four. Uh, Schelling's, I think, a minus three. Holgard, minus one for him. Swift is right where he's supposed to be. Uh, Walls is right where he's supposed to be. George is plus one. I mean, you know, we, our team draw was not good. And the weather's beautiful, so, you know, the weather is not a factor in this one. Six riders in the break, three and a half minutes. Let's just make the best of it. That's had to. That's that's been the entirety of this series. Make the best of it because it's never better than expected. Anyway, sorry, I, I, I hate to vent on this one. It's just it keeps happening over and over again. And if you haven't figured it out by now, you know that that expert level race day condition. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. You can't do much. You cannot do much when you do not have those bonuses. Four star, uphill. Boy, Lavelle. You call that a chase? Come on, buddy. We were three bike lengths away, and Lavelle just kind of sits there and puts it on uh, Jumbo Vesba to do the chasing. I think I should just get uh, Lavelle to protect me. He's the best for that task. Uh, get Swift to do it. Get Lavelle to follow me. Walls and Shelling. I need to work on pulling this back. Uh, Peloton is back together, so it's been pulled back. You got five riders from the break left away. Six riders with a very slender advantage left over that split off the group that we were just behind. Now we're just behind this group. And now it's back in contact. 45 in the peloton. Here. We'll try to sprint train things a little bit, see what happens with it. Uh, as we go through, I want to hurt this field and try to set ourselves up for something. As we are almost full strength, we're, we're going to begin to fade a little bit here. As the maximums are now being impacted. Uh, 70k to go, and actually this is the time we need to get water, so we'll just drop, and we'll just go get water. That'll take care of that task, final time. Peloton down to 31, by the way. All the more reason to use the team to uh, be aggressive and push. As we didn't want to see it double in size like it just did. George and Holgard. Back in contact. No energy. Okay, here we go. Walls. Get to the front. Just about ready to bridge that gap. And he does. Red bar is gone though. And he's not done yet, so let's let's just keep pushing with uh, Swift. There, but shelling. Get out of the way, buddy. That red bar. Let's see how how important that is, because it drops us back quite quickly. We're looking at 30 riders now, and walls and shelling. Put them both on auto.
So 28 left, Chase and five. Paderberg is next. It's only three stars, but it's very steep. It's also very short. Swift pushing right near the front, Lavelle slowly bringing it back up there. And for the moment, Peloton's back together largely. We'll see if it splits again over the top. It does, Wallace and Shelley both go backwards. But it only dropped 10 riders, not 20. Now it splits as Swift continues to push. Four riders left off the front. Van Art, favorite, has already gone away. Swift, red bar gone, but he's got the yellow. He's going to catch Hofstetter here soon. And those front three aren't too far away. Swift is done. Swift is done. He's going to push as hard as he can. Lavelle will take over when he needs to. There's 45k to go, folks. There's a lot of time here. But Koppenberg. 81? Sure, sounds good. You're punchy, I'm punchy. Let's be punchy. You can see the big acceleration as you get off the cobbles there. And it's down to 21 riders. Push less hard. There's still 40k to go, but Lavelle and I doing well. Swift, auto, down to two of us, down to 20, chasing three. Three stars. Nearly caught the front three. 40k. Groups yo-yoing, trying to get in contact. And we've caught the break. That art is no longer away. Lavelle held up a little bit, but also not pushing as hard right now. And we're down to 18. One last little acceleration here, but then I think I want to check up for a moment. We've got a little while yet till we get into the next one, and I'd like to see us recover if possible. So I'm going to sit on. And see what happens. And they just attack. They just attack, so this is not... Not the answer, not the ticket. You're just going to see a few of the favorites attack and go clear. You can see there's five of them there trying to get away. Now Van Barl chases, but here's more just trying to attack. So we just invited the, uh, the favorites to go for the attack to try to get clear 30k. I don't have a lot left in the tank, so we can't push too hard here. Group is getting smaller though. Ultimately, we're down to 23 left in contention. And the Trying to not put my foot down too hard as Lavelle is gone. And I'm starting to get down to bare bones here. There, it's back together. 19 riders left. Oh, come on. That's that again. By Woot Van Art. And now there's eight riders that have gone clear. Like I said, top 10 today would have been really good with a plus five. You can see that we're hanging on to contention for a top 19, but with nothing left in the tank, we're going to hit... We're going to hit the climb, and that's it. We're going to be dropped. So this is it, folks. Going backwards. Now, the plus five, we would have survived this. But we're not surviving right now. We'll have two riders dropped. So that's... Well, others dropped soon after. Three Jumbo Visma riders. Twelve K to go, but I'm in that top twenty range right now. There's ten, fourteen, so yeah, it's 
15th is what we're riding through right now with 8k to go and that's it it's flat actually struggling to keep up with the pace here as we approach the uh, finish line a really powerful sprint finish. Vanderpool takes the win ahead of Van Art. Told you those two were heavy favorites. <laughs> and we manage a top 20. 18th. 18th. The plus 5, we would have had our top 10, for sure. Still wouldn't have been competing for the win, just like I suspected. Too hard of a race too terrible of a race day condition because again on the difficulty level they all have bonuses on bonuses we don't not with that so uh, we just don't compare we don't compete and the, the sucky part about what's happened with this series is that that mountain rating has never gone up the way it needed to at this stage I expected a 70 to a 72 mountain and a 79 hills. The sprint, which was not supposed to be a great, great strength of ours, has been. We have a 75 sprint when we have a 65 mountain. Those two should be equivalent. I'd be happy with a 72 sprint and a 72 mountain. I would totally trade those three points uh, for that without a doubt and the hills has struggled as well that should have been you know very capable of getting into the 80s and it just hasn't there's there's levels left but every time the mountain is either non-existent or one point at best and to take it it's at great cost of everything else like the trade-off just has not been there it is what it is it is what it is uh, we did our best here and our best unfortunately was only 18th thanks to the minus four draw i we would have had that top 10 but you know it sucks it sucks but got a deal and move on uh we'll move on to what's next Looking ahead, our next episode will be Perry Roubaix, Amstel Gold, and Flesh Wallone. That'll be exciting. That's going to be much better chances. Roubaix, we are much better suited to if we have a very good race day condition. The cobble rating that right now is certainly competitive could go into that range of actually competing for the win. It's going to take a plus four, plus five to compete for the win. Something neutral ish, plus two, uh, top ten top 10 very very possible but i i hope for that plus five and and a chance to actually compete for the win run event london was always going to be harder than roubaix based on our profile that low mountain rating but the plus five anyway you know <laughs> uh amstel gold punchy we have a chance but you know 76 hills is not great same for flesh alone uh we just have not developed as a puncher the way we've needed to and that's been those draws i i look at it every level and uh, and i keep saying over and over again it's what i want it's what we need and then it's just never materializing it's never there uh, tour de romandy after that so we'll get those through on the next episode tour de romandy on the following episode uh, and possibly uh Rund um Colm actually we'll probably just bypass that one and then we'll have the Dauphiné uh, German National Championships and then our first Grand Tour, the Tour de France, which does have a cobbled stage. Apparently two of them, but nothing here shows cobbled. It's probably the final kilometer or something of the mountain climb. It's gravel classified. Classifies the entire stage as cobble when it's less than one kilometer worth game has a odd tendency to do that all right folks well that's gonna do it for this episode sorry if i'm sounding a little glum uh just was disappointed i was expecting 
Oh, I was expecting a plus five or you know plus four race day condition there, uh, and it just didn't materialize. So I'm bummed. You should be bummed too. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.